Hi there, CJ Jenkins from Century 21 Cornerstone here at Lake of the Pines in Auburn, California. Wow, we have a great house for you to see today. It is a lakefront. Yes, one of those sought after homes at Lake of the Pines. Our address is 11449 Lakeshore North. And you can check it on the uh, internet, on a Zillow, on the MLS, also on Realtor.com. We are up there with our pictures and our drone video for you to look at this lovely site of this lakefront. Now we are priced at a million six hundred and ninety-five thousand, or twenty-six hundred square feet. One of the real pluses about this home, well, there are many, but one of the real pluses is this view right here. We are on a lovely level lot. And you're gonna hear the word level a couple of times today during our show, because it is a very desirable feature. This beautiful lawn looking over the lake, right to the water's edge, you have your dock and you have a boat lift. And what do we see behind the, the water here but the Lake of the Pines Marina? This marina is for folks who live at Lake of the Pines. It's a private marina because we are a gated private community. And then behind the marina, you see a group of trees and nestled in those trees is our well-loved clubhouse. Our clubhouse provides dinners, uh, special events, weddings. My son got, there to, uh, got married there two years ago. So could you imagine being on the deck of the clubhouse and the whole view behind you is the lake of Lake of the Pines. So this area of Lakeshore North is very well uh, desired because we are on a level lots here. And when you get to level lots, and this is a little thing about topography, it is common sometimes for your water to be very shallow, but that is not the case here. And we'll look at the water depth in a little while. You can actually jump off of this dock and uh, be able to be in deeper water. But this house, let's talk about the house at 11449 Lakeshore North. This is a home where a family enjoys it all the time on the weekends. So it is a well-loved home and lots and lots of gatherings of people here and parties. And just look at this lawn. You could play cornhole right here. You could have a badminton um, a net up. You could be playing croquet. You could have lots of tables out here and have a big party. You could have a wedding out here. This is such a lovely, lovely backyard. So we do have a Trex deck. And I really like this extra feature, which is this plexiglass, because this is the way for you to enhance your view. You look right through the glass from outside and you can see the lake and see the lawn see the dock, the marina, and the clubhouse right through here. Normally people have those little uh, uh, slats of wood and that really does impede upon your view. So we're gonna take a moment to look at the back of the house from the edge of the dock. Look at all of those windows, floor to floor windows. One, two, three, four, five. Five windows in from the great room, which really enables you to get so much view when you're in the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. I love this home. I could live here and be very, very happy. So there is a propane fireplace, which is the easiest darn fireplace there is. There's just a little click on the heating unit and it turns on automatically. You know that at Lake of the Pines, we do use propane for our fireplaces and some of our other um, um, appliances. And it is very easy. And also the propane here at Lake of the Pines is very affordable. Now you can see where this large family have a place on this couch. So we have a, a, a big sectional here 
could put a coffee table here and some extra chairs. And one of the things that this house has throughout is lots and lots of storage. So this is a collection of some of the games that the family uh, play together. I'm sure they could have their card table out here right in the middle or, or play games on their um, dining room table. And then storage in here. This storage could be some of your video equipment that you need or maybe blankets for if people are cuddling up on the couch. But really a nice feature. We do have these floors. I, I'm not sure if they're wood or laminate or they're an engineered hardwood, but they are lovely floors. They're very, very attractive. Now I'm going to have Leanne film this angle of the entryway into the great room. Look at that arch. Lots of bookshelves and storage also in the cabinets on both sides but it's very presentational. We have high ceilings, a really cool fan, very modern contemporary fan. So we have the table right now set up for six people, but I've been in this house where they've had this table uh, twice as long, moving it out a bit and a little closer to the couch so you could have many, many people here for your holiday meals. In fact, this family is going to have a big group here on Thanksgiving, and this table is going to be expanded, and there will be room for everyone. Here is another built-in cabinet. This hutch is really very attractive. It's also extremely functional. You can have some extra dishes that you're serving here. You can serve your dinner and then have your dessert set up here. In fact, that would be a good idea because when I eat dinner, I like to know what's for dessert so I know how to save some space, you know, for dessert. So you could have your apple pie and pumpkin pie over here. A couple of drawers for your placemats, places for your glassware. So it really is a very big kitchen if you add this hutch in for, um, for storage. Got a little breakfast bar with three stools. And then this kitchen was done about, I'm guessing, eight to ten years ago. And this house was built in 1974. And you need to not worry about the age of our homes at Lake of the Pines because everybody is uh, rejuvenicating all of their homes bit by bit. I've lived in my home 20 years. I've done 12 remodels in 20 years. So it's just common. We are buying an area that has an exemplary community. And the house really is secondary. The community is primary for all the activities that we have and all that we have to offer and enjoy at Lake of the Pines. And then the secondary part is, well, I've got a house in a nice location. I can fix the house up. So this kitchen is already fixed up for you. We have stainless steel appliances, also gas, which I happen to really like in my kitchen. We have some of the subway tile that is very fashionable today. Good size deep stainless steel sink, so you can put your pasta pots in there and you'd have plenty of room. The microwave and a warming oven. So lots of storage, good, good size refrigerator, more storage here with these cabinets on the side where you can put your spices in there. So I would give this an A plus as a kitchen. And something that this house also has is we have three skylights. I am a fan of skylights, you guys know. I always talk about the skylights because if you don't have any lights on, look at how much light is in this kitchen just from natural light. And light and bright makes a house very happy. I have to tell you the first time I was in this home, I live on the lake 
but this is like four times the lake view that I have. And I was sitting in the chair and I was very distracted being here because when a boat takes off out of the marina, one of the things you do is you just want to say, oh, do I know those people and where are they going and what are they doing? There's, this is really a happening space, but not too busy at the same time. All right, here's some more built-ins we were talking about. We've got lots of room for holiday decorations, a possible place to keep your gift bags, your wrapping paper. And nice cabinetry and some good finish work here. And if I lived here, this would be my seasonal place to decorate. I'd have Christmas things up, it's Christmas time, and Halloween things up. Now one of the cool things about this particular floor plan is on the main level, we have one and a half baths. The full bath is in the master and the master bedroom we're just about to go into. But we have a hallway bathroom right here. So when your guests are here ready to relax on the upper deck or here for a meal in your dining room, you do have a half bath for them on this level. All right, high ceilings again in the master. This is a very uh, ample size master. Plenty and plenty of room. This is a king bed. So you have room for, for chest or drawers if you need some, um, or if you would uh, like a chair in a reading area here, you have room for that. Now I have to say that in our pictures, this came out a lot more kind of um, apple green. And this is really a very pretty sage green. Um, I don't know why, maybe it was the lighting in our photographs on the MLS. So take a really good look at it because it's a more contemporary color because it has a little bit of gray in it. And this is the green that our oak trees turn to, uh, the underneath part of the leaves. So we have a solar tube again. You know I'm a fan of solar tubes because it gives us that natural light. And one of the things that uh, I really enjoy, because I have this in my house, is there's a her closet and a his closet. And both of them have cubbies in them. We're not going to show you right now. I always promise my folks I won't go into their closets with the video. Um, but um, we do have cubbies for shoes and places to put folded up jeans and, and sweaters and sweatshirts and things like that. So very, um, very usable closet space. So look at this grand bathtub. Now this bathroom was remodeled, I think, eight to 10 years ago. And you can tell that the person who designed this bathroom loves the bath because it has not only a good sized tub, but it has some gracefulness. And some of that gracefulness is the extra space around the edge of the tub. So just think you could be in a bubble bath with a glass of wine or a little uh, cup of cocoa in the winter and you would have plenty of space here. Plantation shutters are a very nice feature to, um, to um, manage your lighting. Built-in cabinets again. Now we have a separate shower from the tub and the very popular feature is there are double sinks in the master. And that's not always the case at Lake of the Pines, double sinks. Um, because I think double sinks happened after this house was built originally. A separate uh, WC, and again, high ceilings, arches, skylights, bull nose corners in here. These are definitely um, contemporary finishes. I bet you when this house was built, there were oak 
doors and the doors have been replaced too. So we have those more um, modern white doors. Now, one of the things that's really excellent about this floor plan at 11449 Lakeshore North at Lake of the Pines is that you could live on this level and be very happy and your guests get to stay downstairs. So downstairs we have two dash three bedrooms. I'll explain what that is in a minute and a full bathroom and perfect family room or game room. So if you had guests, they would have their privacy downstairs. So let's go check it out. Well, first off, I guess I should start at the front door. I have to say that it is so important in a lakefront home that we always focus on the backyard. So our front yard here is very modestly set up. It's got plenty of parking and we are basically, as soon as you get in the house, you don't pay any attention to the front yard. You just want to come into the back and see the lake. Oh, we have a three car garage also. Nice staircase with an iron railing. All right, so this, I said that this house has three dash four bedrooms. So technically this room is not a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. However, this family does use it as a bedroom because there's a sleeper couch here that's used and you could have plenty of room for a desk in here um, also uh, Chester drawers. So this would be the fourth bedroom if you wanted to use it or you could use it as an office. Here is the laundry room. Great size laundry room. Room to fold towels. We've got some beach towels out there. Uh, hooks for everybody's, maybe their beach towel, or maybe um, their life jackets, um, but very functional. Uh, a vinyl floor in here and a sink. So good size and the door that takes you outside that you can go down the side of the house to the lake. So here's where it's all happening for this particular um, uh, owner and the family. This is the game room or the family room. We have pinball, we have, uh, we have a shuffleboard. Some of these games I actually don't even know the names of. I always call that the soccer game, but it has a different name. <laughs> and one of the, the cool features is a small refrigerator Plenty of cabinetry, again, more storage, as we've mentioned, and a sink. So you could have popcorn maker, sodas, maybe even a little kitchenette if you wanted to bring a microwave down into this area and you would, people wouldn't need to go upstairs to heat up their coffee in the morning. And once again, what do we have? More storage right here. I mean, even some of these shelves are absolutely empty. And again, a very pretty view of the lake. So this back bedroom is set up basically for sleeping. There's the family comes on the weekends and they have someone here and two people down here, and um, they've got this loft bed that works for them. Really nice baseboards in the house, very large baseboards. And this would be the bathroom for your visitors downstairs for these two dash three bedrooms. Got some granite, newer cabinets, and there are also cabinets back here 
that go pretty deep for your towels and your um, your linens. Really perfect size for beach beach towels. This door lets us go out again to the lake from the side of the house, which is nice. So you're in the lake, you need to use the restroom, come down the side and you've got your spot here. They have their three beach towels all ready to go for when their visitors show up. And our last bedroom is the one I call the other bedroom with the pink bedspreads, the girls' bedroom. This is the boys' bedroom with the blue. And one of the nice things is, is they have a spectacular view of the lake. Wouldn't you just love to own a lakefront like this and a place where your family would come and visit? You'd have a lot of friends coming to visit too. So there is some, a concrete pad that is a little patio out here. And then we have, let's see if I can pick it up. We have a gr great size, one, two, three, four, five. I think this is a six or eight seater spa. And it works. And this spa stays with the property. So you can see by the kayaks and the stand-up paddle boards that this family that lives here really enjoys the water sports that Lake of the Pines has to offer. We have stand-up paddling, kayaking, canoeing, sailboats, party boats, and speed boats. This dock has been uh, worked on by our famous dock maker of Lake of the Pines, Richard Mata, and it is a very stable dock. I said that this dock was so stable that I could tap dance on it. Was I wiggling? No, it was just the dancer. <laughs> so this is a very nice stable dock. People who don't know anything about docks don't really think about, well, what if it moves while I'm on it? This is one of the nice uh, um, items here to have a stable dock. And there's a cost to docks and also especially to a boat lift. So these owners are able to keep their boat out of the water year round because they have a boat lift. They've added that in the last couple of years and it is really worth something I don't know the cost of it, but it is very helpful for um, keeping your boat out of the water during the winter months. Now, here is our ladder, and I would guess that we have about at least six feet deep in this area of, of the cove. So you have cross lake views, and you have a feeling of being in a cove, and this whole area you could fall asleep on your raft and you would be fine because there are no boats coming in this area. They're all happening by where the marina is. So this is a nice floating area for when you have family and friends that are coming to test out the kayaks. You can see how uh, water worthy they are before you let them go out and about to the lake. We have some ducks. Look at them when they go down for their food. <laughs> their little bottoms come up. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> so let's turn around and take a great look at this home on 11449 Lakeshore North. I am so proud of this home. It is such a desirable property and I think someone's going to be the lucky one to own it soon. Again, a review of 2,600 square feet, 3-4 bedrooms, 2.5 baths, great room concept, family room, high ceilings, and a home that is, has been loved 
and would definitely be available for you to love in the future. So I am CJ Jenkins from Century 21 Cornerstone from Lake of the Pines, California in Auburn. Now where Lake of the Pines is located, I just want to tell you we're 12 minutes from downtown Auburn and 15 minutes from downtown Grass Valley. We are here nestled in the Sierra foothills. We are a great community um, that is a gated community with a golf course, a beautiful lake that you've already seen, uh, six different parks, a clubhouse, a sports lounge, bocce ball, tennis, golf. There are so many other things I'm sure I'm, I'm missing. And uh, we are very, very um, uh, community conscious, have lots of amenities for you to enjoy. And I'm sure that if you move to Lake of the Pines, you would really enjoy our community besides our beautiful setting here at 11449 Lakeshore North. Now, I want to make sure that I invite you to Sunday's open house. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving from one to four. If you would like to come see this property, please give me a call, CJ at 530-906-4715, because I will call you into the gate and make sure that you get to come and see our home that we're previewing today on Thanksgiving and look forward to seeing you on Sunday a few days away at our open house from 1 to 4. Thank you so much for joining us at Lake of the Pines Living Facebook and I'll see you the following week. Bye-bye.